So for today's tasting, what we have is a pinotage from South Wait Africa. Wait a minute. Where's Wino? Wino? You mean Patty? Oh, she took off with the bottle. She's got. She's gone. <laughs> we haven't seen Where her since. I know. Huh? Yeah. Oh well. Well, I'm I'm filling you in for her. So you know we have to be More three girls. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and, and what I found out from our last tasting, where we looked so eloquent on camera, I had been saying pinotage the whole time behind the scenes. I'm glad I wasn't shown in front of the scenes, you know, saying uh, pinotage. But what I found out from a good friend of mine who, who writes about pinotage is that it is not pinotage. It's pinotage. It is pinotage. Ah. Here in America, though, we don't say anything right. Right. You know, Spain should actually be España, shouldn't it? I mean, Italy is Italia. Mm -hmm. Why are we calling it Italy? I don't understand. <laughs> um, but with this, this I think we should, um, you know, start calling it pinotage. Pinotage. And hopefully I'm saying it right now. <laughs> Correct me again. But anyway, Peter, this one's for you. It's Pinotage, I, I'm assuming here. And being American, it's a little hard for me to pronounce other, uh, other uh, uh, different country names. But we've got the Pinotage from South Africa. And we've also got from Robertson Winery. We've also got a Cabernet Sauvignon from uh, Robertson Winery. Our Pinotage and our Sauvignon, our Cabernet Sauvignon, are both 2008s. So they're drink now wines. They're not expensive at all. We're looking at, you know, uh, $9.99 in the store, pretty much. I think this one might have been. Ryan, you're behind the scenes. How much was our Cab and how much was our, our Pinotage? They're about the same price, about $9.99 each. Okay. And so, and you're a guy, so. You can't talk anymore. Only us girls. <laughs> Only us girls. Um, the other thing that, uh, remember I was having a problem with the other grape, so I kind of like skipped over it. Mm -hmm. The the Pinotage is made with the Pinot Noir grape and the Cinso grape. Mm -hmm. It is called Cinso. And let me look at my notes here. Um, in, in France, the spelling in France, the spelling is it's since Sinso in South Africa and it's Sanso in France. And in France, the spelling is C I N S A U L T, and in South Africa, it's C I N S A U T. Did I say something else? South Africa, right? Mm -hmm. I said that right? Yeah. Okay, and so uh, when we're looking at that, I would call it Sinso and um, Pinot Noir. And basically, it used to be called Hermitage when you had that blend. Mm -hmm. But um, it's no longer called that, and it's been a while since they've called it that, and it's now called Pinotage. So we're doing another Pinotage. Um, wine tasting. This time we're gonna, we know which wine is which, mm -hmm. and we're just comparing our B wine, which is our Pinotage, to our C wine, which is our Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. So now we're trying to see which one we really like better, or if we like them at all, in comparison to the winery, the, the winery that's making it. Now, last night I had a great 2007 Cabernet Sauvignon from Robertson Winery, and it's actually one of my favorite wines. Very inexpensive and affordable wine, and I love it. I don't know why I love it, you know. Um, I don't know if wine critics want to just hit me over the head for saying that, or if they think it's a brilliant choice. I think that it's an affordable wine, and compared to the wines that I usually drink, which are pretty expensive wines, I've been trying to see, hey, you know, everybody keeps talking about these wines that don't cost that much money. Um, I want to try a few and see how it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, mine did not have a twist cap, and I know that now a lot of people still can have good wines with a twist cap. Mm -hmm. I just kind of like to open mine up with a, I you know, know, wine opener. Mm -hmm. It's just me. Nostalgia. Um, the and I know that, totally yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. it is. We have to have that, you know. It's a ceremony. It is. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. It's a whole room. All right, so the wine girls are now going to try their wine. Okay. So, Go on, Lindsay, you take over. What are we supposed to do here? Um, we gotta get some air in it. So you wanna swirl it around. Kinda take a look at it. Take a look. 
Look at the color, clarity. Then maybe hold it up to the light. And look at it at our with our white background. Mm -hmm. And what kind of color do you guys see here? I think it's a pretty it's plum. Definitely got a plum color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, it doesn't look that thin. Looks like a... This is the Pinotage. The, the Pinotage. Pinotage. And this time we're doing B before C. We <laughs> always go backwards, but we want to get our, what we think is our lighter wine first and then our heavier mm -hmm. wine. And, and I think that this one's going to be a lighter I wine. I like the so smell. I like try. the nose on it a lot better. Mm -hmm. It's not mm. as strong. Yeah, it's not as potent as the mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. you know, but it still has oh, that meatiness. Still got the toasty oak. Yes. Yes. Like, see, Slowly. and that is what, I mean, that's what gets me about it. I love the toasty mm. oak. Mm -hmm. Gosh. No sweaty man this time? Oh, just the perfect amount of sweaty man. <laughs> <laughs> there better be just a little bit of sweaty Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ryan, good. don't listen. <laughs> I think this one smells better. This one has a great smell. Mm-hmm. I mean, it smells plummy. I don't know. I'm still smelling that banana from the other day. <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs> Followed you. Chocolate, coffee, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm, I really like it. Mm-hmm. Very good. What do you all think? It tastes pretty light. Medium body. Soft tannins. I don't feel soft that. Soft tannins. You know, mm -hmm. perch. You know, mm -hmm. very soft. Not very bitey. It's pretty good. It has a nice finish. It lingers yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Mild. What, what I like to do, too, on any of my wines, too, is... I like to just look at my fingers through them if I can, so I know it's heavier. Um, if I've got like a heavy cab, like I can see that this is not a heavy cab. This is going to be right. like a, a medium cab. I can see my fingers right, right through the wine. Mm -hmm. And then where a lot of times you'll see those darker colors in some of our, our California cabs that we have. We've got a lot of those dark, rich, deep colors, you know, heavy oak type right. um, with some deep, deep reds with spicy sometimes and mm -hmm. different things.